All righty, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Mr. D here at the CCIC. Let's get ready for a little math lesson. We're getting ready to install our standing seam panels. This is a 16 and a half inch panel, inch and a half hem, quick lock. If I were to go with a full starter panel right here on my back corner, I'd run into a few issues. One of them would be full panel, full panel. I'd get a hem or a seam too close to my window trim here. So I don't want that to happen. And the other thing is if I went full panels towards the end, then I'd get that last panel would be super skinny. I don't want that either. So let's do a little math, figure out how to fix that problem. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the whole width of my building. That'd be 102 inches. These panels are 16 and a half inches. So I'm gonna divide 102 inches, my whole building, by 16 and a half inch panels. 102 inches divided by 16 and a half inch panels. That's gonna give me 6.18 panels so divided by 16 and a half inches. All right, remember when we talked about how that one panel would be really skinny? Here's what would happen if I did a full size panel at the beginning. I'd get six full panels and I'd get 18% of a last panel. So about a fifth of a whole panel. That would be one tiny skinny panel. I don't wanna end on that. So instead, here's what I'm gonna do. Instead of six full panels, I'm gonna do five full panels. So I'm gonna take my 102 inches divided by five. 102 inches divided by five, okay? That tells me if I use five full panels, I'm gonna have 20 and three eighths left between the first panel and the last panel. I'm gonna divide that number in two, divided by two, 10 and three sixteenths. Here's what this tells me. A 10 and three sixteenths panel here, five full panels there, and a 10 and 3 16th panel at the end is gonna perfectly fit my 102 inch building. Let's try it out. All right, so we ripped down our panel. This is my 10 and 3 16th skinny panel, ripped and installed. And what I've done here is now I've marked my layout at 16 and a half inches. That's the width of the panel. That's why we divided by 16 and a half. So I've got a full panel here. This is 16 and a half inch from the hem to hem. Another 16 and a half inch gets me another full panel. 16 and a half, 16 and a half, 16 and a half there. And if this all works out, I should be at right at 10 and 3 16 on my last panel left. So I'm going to go ahead and cap these off on four by four outside corner trims. And same when we transition from standing seam to our LP smart side on the front of the house. There you go.